Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Liv and you will also know me as Messy Makers Mind. I am on Instagram, Ravelry, and you can also find me on many other social medias that are always linked below in the description box. So recently I have actually started designing my own patterns and I currently have two patterns out that are available on my Ravelry. They are also available on lovecrafts.com and also on my Etsy shop. So find my patterns on there. The two patterns I have out is the Messy Columns Cowl and the Field of Ladders Cowl. So they'll be linked down below as well. So today I thought I'd do another podcast. I may... <laughs> I've got a few things done, but I, I, I haven't actually got many things finished but I thought I'd just update you on where I'm at um, because some design work has been coming in first at the minute because I've been wanting just to get that done so like a lot of design stuff has been going on I have three designs at the moment currently on the go um, so I've, I've written them all out and stuff and, and planned them but I just need to finish the project to get test knitters and then hope for the best but yeah, so I have been really busy with design work um, and it's, design work actually takes up a lot of my time and doing the gauge and the swatching as well, it all adds up in time. So yeah, but I am going to show you a few things in today's video. So first I will show you one of my finished projects. Well, it's one, <laughs> one sock. So. This is one finished item, and this is actually going to one of my friends. So I said to her I'd knit her up some socks, and I have been taking a long, long time to finish these, and I feel really bad, but thankfully she is okay with it. Um, so yes, this is one finished sock, and it's just in stockinette stitch. And I did this pattern from Christine Perry's book, The Winwick Mom Sock Along. I think I actually have the book in here, which I do. So here is the book that I've been using to complete the socks. So yeah, I love how it's turned out. And I've just got these on some sock blockers. <laughs> these are from Etsy and they are wooden handmade and they're just so cute. I mean, it's got like a little sheet on the top, which I love. So yeah, that's one sock. And then currently in progress, <laughs> my, my work in progress here is the second sock. So that's what it's looking like. And what I do is I, I watch Kay, the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. I'm sure you all know her, she's really lovely. And in one of her videos, she mentioned that every 10 stitches, she places a marker. So then you can count like 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. And it's just so much easier instead of like getting really confused where you're at. So that's what I've been doing. Just adding little stitch markers every 10 rounds. So I think I'm on, I'm on 40, yeah. 40 rounds so I've done, and I need to do 60 before I can start the heel. Um, so that's one of the, there's one of the socks, and um, I keep them in this little bag, it is so so cute, and this bag is from So Happy Creative, I'm hoping you can see that, I'm really sorry it's so bright today, and I think on the back it says, handmade in the UK. So yeah, but it's so lovely, and inside, it's like it's really spacious as well, and inside it's got like this nice white design, and then you have these little pulleys at the side, so you can just take it along with you, and I love it so much, it's so handy as well if you just want to like pop it in your handbag or something on the go. Um... So yeah, that's one finished sock and one in the progress. <laughs> um, for 
finished items, I don't know if I've actually shown these in previous videos, so if I have, do forgive me. But I have one of the cable knit headbands. Now this one is in Marble Chunky James C. Brett. And I love the colours in this, so it's got like purple, then it goes into greens, and pinks and blues, it's just like a variety of different colours. So I love this so much, and I think this is actually for sale on my Etsy. I think I did put it on my Etsy. And then another one, I did this one for Valentine's Day, and it is another cable knitted headband in like this nice red colour. And this red colour, I'm actually doing the turtleneck sleeveless sweater that I showed in my last podcast. But um, I still haven't had the time to actually knit on that, unfortunately. So that's still something I need to do. Um, and then another finished item. I did show this in my last video, I think. But it is the, uh, the Field of Ladders Cowl. And this is what it looks like. And it's so pretty. And this is my own design. So if you are interested, this will be linked below where you can find the pattern. But um, yeah, I just really love the, the stitch pattern in this. I just think it's really nice. So it's got garter borders. And then it goes into the stitch pattern. Yeah. And it's knitted in the round, so there's no sewing, which I love. So <laughs> yeah don't like my sewing. So um, another design I've got here, I'm going to show this one because I pretty much, I showed this on my Instagram so it's not a secret. Like some of my designs are still a secret at the moment and I'm not actually showing them until they are finished. But this one, I don't mind. <laughs> so um, this is going to be this is going to be a circle scarf, so um, if you don't know what a circle scarf is, it is basically like um, a cowl, let's say. So it's like a long cowl that will go like down here, and then you'll be able to double loop it over, or you could wear it as just like a, a circle scarf. Um, so it's worked flat, and then it's going to be seamed at the ends, and this is how far I have got so far. So, to be honest, not very far, but it's it's a start. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so this I will be calling for testnet as soon as well. And the yarn that I'm using is from... Got it here, so here's the yarn. It is from Marina, and it's the... It's a DK weight yarn. And I really just love the blue, and ha just how blue it is, it's just so nice. And the shade is 86, and I believe it's called Royal. The colour of this yarn is called Royal. Hopefully I'm right, but yeah, it's a 100 gram, 100% acrylic, um, DK weight yarn. Really reasonable price, I got four balls of this for £1, I think it was £1.49 each which is actually not bad, so I went for that. And now I finally found a pattern that I would like to knit up in this yarn. I've had this yarn for a while, actually. I've just never had the opportunity, or I've never really thought about what I could knit in it, but now I have finally decided, and it's gonna be one of my own patterns. So I'm really excited about that. So yeah. Um, yarns that I wanna show you. <laughs> These are yarns that I previously bought. Now I treated myself, because why not? Um, and I bought myself some Serdar Crofter DK yarn. And it's called the Fair Isle Effect. So it is so, so pretty. I just really love the colours. And I have yet, I, I'm yet thinking like, what do I design in this? I'm really still trying to think, I have 200 grams, but I'm still, I have 200 grams of it, but I really do not know what to design in this colour. So if you knitters have any ideas, then please do comment below, because they always help me out. 
and I'm, I'm just sat here trying to think and I really don't know what because I don't really want to do a cowl again. I want something different. And uh, the shade of this sorry is 01, 01, 02. And it's a four millimeter DK weight yarn. Serda Crofter DK. But I just, I love the, the colors in it. So yeah, that's something that I need to think about what I want to design in and obviously you guys can please let me know if you have any ideas what this would look good in and another yarn that I am so excited about it's one of my favorite colors at the minute but it is from Rija hopefully I'm saying that right it is four play sock yarn and oh my goodness just look at this it is so pretty like the camera actually doesn't do much justice for it like when you see it in person it's so nice um and the color of this is 04068 and i just love it so much you guys can see like the colors it's just so nice so i've decided that i actually want to knit up a pair of socks for myself because I don't ever knit myself anything really, so I thought why not knit myself a pair of socks, and um, because I love this yarn so much, I'm going to do it in this yarn, um, but I will be getting more of this yarn, because it is so nice, and I am soon going to be selling socks on my Etsy, but yeah, I just, ah, oh, I love it. So, there's some little new things that I have recently got and um, I know I haven't been really finishing items as much because I've only got one finished sock but I am hoping to finish this sock tomorrow because today I'm actually going out to a knitting group um, and I'll probably be there for like an hour or two so I should hopefully get a lot done. Um, and another work in progress which is another design and I'm absolutely fine with showing you this one because I have already shared it on my Instagram I had really good feedback off you guys and um, it is a cowl and look how beautiful the stitch pattern is it is just so stunning and I'm really excited about this pattern so that's what I'm going to say, I'm going to keep it hush hush as for name and everything <laughs> because I want that to be a surprise but I will be calling for test knitters within the next week or so so please do keep a look out on my Instagram because that's where I mainly post um, all of the updates and things or you can always email me at handknitsbyliv at gmail.com and you can message me any questions you have or if you would like to be a test knitter and you don't have Instagram then please do message me, e uh, email me on there. So, yeah. I think that's everything for now. And, um, yeah. So I just thought I'd update you on what I've been doing, what's been going on my end. I hope you are all having a lovely day. Today is so sunny, it is finally sunny. <laughs> in the UK we don't get sun often at the minute but spring is finally coming it is March now and I love it yeah I'm just so excited and um, I actually do have a design that is going to be summer related and I can't wait to share it with you guys but it won't be released until August so <laughs> yeah quite a while a while away but I'm, I really can't wait for you guys to see um, so yeah, I think that's everything, and I hope you have a lovely week, or, or evening, or morning, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy knitting! Bye!